DNA testing has exploded over the last few years. You can find out everything from what countries your ancestors came from to what you're genetically predisposed to, to what breeds the family dog is made of. Yeah, but for some, the tests answer questions that they've been asking their whole lives. KCTV5's Amy Anderson talked with a newly matched father and daughter about their journey to each other. More than 26 million people have submitted their DNA to companies like 23andMe and Ancestry. But for one local woman, it was about much more than just curiosity. And the answer she found changed the lives of two people forever. To me, the, just knowing the truth is important. Tamitha Steinwalks always knew her father was out there somewhere. I was always looking for my father. She submitted her DNA to 23andMe and found her half-brother Nathan, so she called him on the phone. The man who answered that call? Charles Messer. Boy, were they in for a surprise. At that point, I asked him if he was Nathan's biological father or a stepfather, and he said he was his biological father. And so I said, well, I think I need to speak to you because I think that you are my dad. And then she said, hi, dad. And it was pretty quick. It was from May 5th to May 7th that I found from from Nathan being a half-brother to him being my dad. It took him a little bit to get used to that idea. It was a little <laughs> quiet on the phone for a little bit. Unless you've lived it, you have no idea what it feels like to not know who your dad is and to just be daddy's little girl. Messer lives in Florida, but was born and raised in Gardner, Kansas. It just so happened he was heading to the Metro for a class reunion. It was a trip that would now include much more than just meeting up with his old high school buddies. That was the first time we met right at the front door of this establishment. At Applebee's here. <laughs> at Applebee's here. It was a moment that's tough to put words to. Well, she was speechless for a change. I cried for a long time <laughs> she when was we bawling. met at the door. I couldn't catch my breath, and I'm not really usually that emotional of a person. But I cried like a baby for probably 30 minutes. I couldn't catch my breath and he just gave me a big bear hug and it was great, it was amazing. Since then, the two have met up a couple of times, both here in Kansas City and in Florida. Making up for lost time is a bit of an understatement. He got to meet all of his friends in Florida and got to see be at his house. He lives a couple blocks from the beach, and so we spent Father's Day. Just is my first Father's Day that I got to spend with my father, so that was great. The timing in its own way was perfect. Steinwalk's daughter was weeks away from getting married. Not only would Messer be able to see his granddaughter get married, he'd get to have a long overdue father-daughter dance with his daughter. We practiced while we were in Florida. Yeah. Because we never danced together. Who knows what that was going to yeah. look like. Well, we're going to do a real simple box step. So. <laughs> <laughs> and while they can't get back what they lost all those years ago. Try to get memories now that we couldn't have before. And we talk every day. Every day on the phone. A bunch of times. They are focused on the future and making new memories that will last a lifetime. I'm glad she found me. Couldn't ask for a better daughter. The father-daughter duo say if there's one thing they want people to take away from sharing their story is that if you've ever hesitated on finding family through these DNA tests, don't. They say you never know what you're missing. We wanted to know how often parental reunions happen, and believe it or not, 23andMe says it does not keep those kinds of statistics. Amy Anderson, KCTV5 News.